I would like the audience to please stand. Please remain standing. I would like to remind everyone uh, to please turn off your cell phones if you have them. We also ask our guests not to, to remain behind the blue um, uh, ropes on the side here and not to come forward of the front row of seats just to allow the graduates to um, have the freedom of movement through the aisles. Um, we have a photographer who has been taking pictures for us, and pictures will be available to the students after graduation. I would now like to ask um, Therese Harrison and S Sam Shahada, Practical Nursing Class of 2022, to come to the podium to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Both Sam and Therese are new citizens to the United States during this school year. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. So good evening, everyone, and thank you all for joining us today on this very special occasion. This ceremony is to honor the outstanding accomplishments of these new nurses who will carry on the high standards of Blue Hills Regional Practical Nursing Program. I would like to um, introduce you so to the guests that are um, joining us on the stage today. Mr. Eric Erskine, District School Committee Chair. We also have our keynote speaker, Kathleen Muse. <laughs> Mr. Erskine will be, um, um, Lily Lopes will be assisting Mr. Erskine with the presentation of the diplomas. <laughs> we also have faculty to my right, Catherine Mohan. <laughs> Diane Lyons, <laughs> Paula Haddad, 
Nancy Fennell is serving as class marshal. <laughs> Ms. Nina Sanchez. And we also have our program secretary, Kathleen Shepard, who will also be assisting. At this time, I would like to welcome Mr. Erskine to provide opening remarks. Mr. Erskine, class of 1981, is the chair of the Blue Hills Regional District School Committee and representative from the town of Braintree. Good evening, family, friends, and loved ones, teachers, faculty. It's an honor and privilege to be here. A past teacher, school committee member, and friend, Mr. Fess Joyce, um, told me if you do one thing while you're on the school committee, go to this LPN graduation. These students deserve it. They needed our, su our support and the support of the school committee. He was the greatest advocate for this program. You may know his daughter, Miss Joyce. She's the director of the administration. And he pushed this program not for his daughter, but for you students. So you work through a lot of obstacles. First and foremost, that dreaded COVID pandemic. Some had other jobs and had to juggle their time. And some had the toughest job of all in that four letter word, kids, <laughs> to deal with. <laughs> Through this time, you probably had some help from family, friends, and loved ones, keeping you focused on your duties ahead. A countless, countless cups of coffee or a nudge to keep you awake, caring for your members while you, you study, or getting the noisy kids or dog out for a walk or a drive so you could have quiet time. Please take this time, turn around, give a wave, a smile, a kiss, blow a kiss to those family members that have helped you. <laughs> and don't forget these ladies up here that gave you all the help you could get. So two weeks ago, I had the privilege of speaking at the Blue Hills school, um, High School graduation. I'm going to take a few quotes from that speech oh, sorry, and recycle them here. So whatever direction you pursue, take along the knowledge you have learned at Blue Hills, the vigor and courage you have shown. Be committed to what you do. This will bring you success. Follow your heart in dreams. Enjoy what you do. Show love and compassion in what you do. This is when you find true success. Soon you will be lighting a candle and reciting the nurse's oath by following these by following these two simple statements you will keep that candle bright for years to come. On behalf of the school committee and, the to and all the faculty and school of Blue Hills Congratulations in whatever endeavors you have in the future, and enjoy the night. It's your night. Thank you. I'm a little shorter than he is. Thank you, Mr. Erskine. Superintendent Jill Rossetti could not be here this evening, but she would like to share some words with all of you graduates. Jill has said, although I cannot be with you all today in person, my heart is with you. First, I would like to acknowledge the countless hours your faculty has put into guiding you as you journeyed through this important milestone today during unprecedented times. Please give your instructors a hand. <laughs> Thank you. 
and Jill says to you, you did it. Your hard work, perseverance, and dedication has paid off. We are so proud of you now that you have the skills and the grit to move on in the medical profession. Congratulations and best wishes to the students for graduating today as you begin the next chapter in your life. University in 2000. She also holds an MSN in forensic nursing and is an adult geriatric nurse practitioner since 2015. She has worked at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Med Surge, ICU, and as a float pool nurse. She has also worked as a traveling nurse. She's done everything. <laughs> um, sexual assault nurse examiner for the Mass DPH and currently at New England Community Medical Services as an adult geriatric nurse practitioner. The graduates know Kathleen from their collaboration at the Ellis. Kathleen? All right. So good evening, faculty, friends, families, and the class of nursing class of 2022. Um, I was so excited to be invited to speak to you tonight. Um, I'm honored to be part of your celebration in the beginning of your nursing career. Um, I met many of, you, many of you at Ellis Nursing Facility, and I will say I was so impressed with you. Uh, your eagerness to learn, your willingness to care, help care for the patients and the residents. Um, your personalities and your nursing skills shined. You definitely, you definitely shown that very well. Um, as I was preparing for tonight, I was thinking of what I should say. Okay, can you hear me now? <laughs> um, I'm gonna hold it, okay. <laughs> so um, I just wanna reiterate, you all shined at Ellis Nursing Facility. You stood out and again, it was very obvious and your personalities and your nursing skills stood out. Um, so as I was preparing tonight, I was thinking of what I should say. So my family reminded me, um, be yourself and talk about your own experiences. So that's what I'm going to do, okay? Um, so I was thinking of my own nursing career and what I really wanted to say to you. So nursing does offer so many opportunities. And as mentioned earlier, I worked at Brigham Women's Hospital for many years as a nurse, a sexual assault nurse examiner for the state of Massachusetts. Um, and I was a traveling nurse, which was so exciting. Um, I got to meet many people. I had many great experiences and some not so great experiences. But you know what? With each experience, you grow, OK? Um, so education comes in many ways. It comes through school, work, but most importantly, it comes from one another. Um, I remember my first few years of nursing as exciting and challenging in so many ways, both clinically and personally. Uh, I remember very early in my career as a nurse, I was taking care of a patient and she got a diagnosis with not a very good prognosis. So her and her family were obviously very upset. As I went into the room to help continue taking care of them, a lot of emotions as you can imagine, um, the family member stopped and looked at me and said, um, you're not helpful anymore, you can go. I, I remember being horrified and I didn't know what to do. I'm like. Do I stay? Do I go? What do I do? So I left. I was in the hallway, and I'll never forget it. I just stood there, and I felt very paralyzed. I didn't know what to do. And another nurse noticed that. And it was a very busy unit. Everybody was doing their thing. But that nurse stopped, and she looked right over and came over to me. She's like, how's it going, Kathy? And I just looked at her. I didn't. I just looked at her, and she, so she knew. She knew right away. So she took me over to the utility room, and she's like, so how's it going, Kathy? And I told her what happened. I was like, I was horrified. I was scared. I felt like the worst nurse ever. Um, and she was so nice. She listened to me. She was there with me. And what she said was with me, she said, OK, she's like, we're going to get through this together. Well, let me tell you, together meant the world to me at that moment. <laughs> I was so grateful. Um, so we went back in the room together. And in that room, me and that nurse took care of the 
patient and the family. But during that time, that nurse took care of me. And then together, we were able to provide care for the family and for the patient. Um, and again, I still remember this 22 years later. I still even remember what the supply room looked like. <laughs> it was that. <laughs> you remember the most important times, okay? And that, to me, was very important. Um, I will always remember and appreciate her kindness, her time, and caring together. So to this day, I always strive to be a supportive nurse, a mother, an aunt, and overall a good person. Um, as a nurse, you're going to have the ability to to influence people, to teach them, to guide them, and most importantly, to advocate for them. Um, but as a nurse, you, you are going to be caring for patients and giving your best. At times, it's going to be exhausting both physically and emotionally. But not only are you giving your best, you do deserve the best. You deserve the best. Treat your fellow nurses with the same respect, love, kindness, dedication you give. Very, very important. Um, because with, with that, you will all get through the difficult times together. Uh, so let me end now with congratulating each of you, and welcome to nursing. All right, at this time, Mr. Eric Erskine and Ms. Lily Lopes will make the presentation of certificates. The school pins will be presented by members of the faculty, Ms. Mohan, Ms. Lyons, Ms. Haddad, and Ms. Sanchez. And roses will be presented by our program secretary, Kathleen Shepard. Widmia Lakeisha Ambrose. <laughs> Thank you to my family and friends who encourage me to prosper, especially my mom and Wince, who support and motivate me each step of the way. <laughs> Melinda Dwinell Barrett. With honors. Thank you, Eli, for putting up with me when I've been cranky, for making me dinner when I am too tired, and for motivating me to continue when I wanted to quit. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for always supporting me to go after my dreams. And last but not least, thank you, Twyla, for calming me down and always being there for me when I needed someone to talk to. I couldn't have done it without you all. Rochelle Satut. Thank you to all my teachers and instructors for your patience, knowledge, and seeing something in me that I didn't see in myself. Courage. Family and friends, thank you for believing and supporting me. To Denise, Rolanda, and my mother, Therese, thank you for loving me, supporting me, and praying for me. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Pinning Rochelle was um, our cousin? Sister, Sister sorry. Um, Rolanda Homer. <laughs> Millie Afway Diop. <laughs> it truly takes a village. I would like to firstly thank mom and dad for their tireless efforts in supporting me and constantly pushing me whenever I felt like giving up. I want to thank Abraham, Dial, Astrid, and Gerald for supporting me throughout this journey. I appreciate it immensely. I am so grateful to have had such a supportive advisor, Mrs. Mohan, and instructors.
Fedora Dorgels with honors. <laughs> 10 months of intense work now over. I would like to thank all of our teachers who helped us through it. Thank you to my family for being there to support and motivate me along with my classmates who made every day fun. I am excited to see how brightly everyone shines in the future. Christina El Evelyn A. Elicio with, with honors. Be bold, be brave, be courageous. Thank you to all my friends, family, and colleagues who have been so supportive throughout this entire journey. I couldn't have done it without you. It truly takes a village. Benita Fernandez Brasero. <laughs> I would like to give a special thanks to my family who have always supported me and been there for me. Thank you for all of the motivation to Sonia, Rosemary, and Marco, my mom and cousins, for all of the love and support. <laughs> Emily Elizabeth Frisch with honors. To my parents, thank you for stepping up in such a huge way this year. I wouldn't have been able to achieve this dream without you. To my beautiful daughters, please know you can be a mama and still ch uh, chase your dreams. I love you, more I love you more than chocolate and coffee. <laughs> Unbelievable. Happy birthday, Riley. I love you. <laughs> Alyssa. Gavi Benjamin. <laughs> Hearing my son Caleb say, Mommy is a nurse, is the most rewarding feeling I have ever felt, and that was all possible thanks to my incredible support system from my parents to my in laws, and especially my husband, for giving me the courage to be the best version of myself. A special thanks to my kids, Caleb and Alana, for being my motivation every day. Thank you all teachers and Mrs. Green for being a true inspiration. <laughs> Taryn Mary Hannafin. <laughs> These last 10 months have been the most rigorous yet humbling days. I'm forever grateful for the continuous support and guidance from all the Blue Hill staff. Thank you to my amazing clinical mentors, Mrs. Green and Ms. Sanchez to my mom, dad, and Greg for making all of this possible. And finally, to my biggest fan and number one supporter, my son, Kaysen. Therese Jane Harrison, <laughs> with honors. Dennis, Mary, and Sinead, I could not be more proud of how you all survived this year without me. Thank you for your love and support. To Mary, Jenna, and Brenda, each of you pushed, encouraged, and supported me in many different ways on this part of my journey. For that, I am forever grateful. To Deanna and Viv, without you both, none of this would have been possible. And to the most amazing faculty ever, the constant support and encouragement that you provided was unbelievable. Each of you will have a place in my heart forever. To all of my classmates, especially my friends I made for life, huge congrats. I love you so much. <laughs> Ruth A. Harvey. With God, all things are possible. Hard work pays off. A million thanks to my parents who instilled those values and my three wonderful children for their endless support and love. To my awesome friends here today, thanks for checking on me. Finally, special thanks to wonderful instructors and classmates. The journey was worth it. <laughs> my 
Martine Honoré, with honors. I owe most of my success to my dad for pushing me through and always supporting me. I couldn't have done this without him. Thank you to mom and sister for being such an amazing support system. I'd also like to thank Brenna, who has been by my side through this journey. Wait, it gets better. Thank you for being the frick to my frack. Kimberly L. Isidore, with honors. I am thankful for the support of God who wakes me up every day, knows my dreams and aspirations, and gives me my inner strength. Next, I am thankful for my two children, Cordell and Melina, and my boyfriend, Tony, who are my biggest supporters and give me my motivation to pursue my dreams. Finally, I am thankful for the support of my teachers who helped me learn nursing material and worked effortlessly to answer all my, all my questions I had in class. Sharifa N. Kesozi with honors. I would like to thank both my parents, my dad and mom, for supporting me throughout this journey my entire family as well. May Allah reward you all the best. <laughs> Dariana Kennedy, with honors. Here's to the woman I'm going to be. May she be well-dressed, glowing, succeeding, and happy. Thank you to all of my loved ones who supported me through this journey. <laughs> Nicole Ann Kindrigan with honors. I reached a milestone today that couldn't be met without the help of my family, friends, and teachers, my husband, and of course my son Jack, who kept a smile on my face. I worked so hard on this journey and leaned on my younger siblings who had constantly encouraged me to do better. We even had some healthy competition and I think they still owe me a few dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we lean on people, we also learn from them. I didn't realize how hard this journey was going to be, but today as I walk beside my classmates to collect my tassel, friends I've made for life, it really is worth the hassle. That rhymed, I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to what the future brings, including my dream job offer. Not possible without all of these amazing instructors. Thank you. <laughs> Lauren Marie Koch with honors. <laughs> Dreams do not just come true. It is up to us to work hard <laughs> to make them come true. Thanks to my family and friends, especially Keith Vetter, Kyle, Stella, and Greta. <laughs> Jocelyn Kate Lally. I would like to thank the amazing people I have met in this program who kept me sane and stayed by my side. I would like to thank Billy for supporting me and putting up with me this year. I would like to thank my brother for always helping me believe in myself. And most of all, I would like to thank Miles and Owen. You are the two strongest kids I know. And I wouldn't have been able to do this but all, all of the hard work you put in every day. Mom loves you and you can do hard things. Melissa Ann Masada.
I'd like to thank my family and classmates for supporting me through this year. It's been a wonderful experience and I feel so blessed. Ashford H. Bogwa. I want to thank Mary Magua for the support throughout the program. I also want to thank Nancy Scopa, Ter Ter uh, excuse me, Taryn Hannafin, and Emily Frisch for making nursing school fun. Thank you for all your love and support. I would not be where I am without family and friends like you. Michaela McGrath. I would like to thank Mom, Dad, Dan, Christina, Ryan, Nana, and Jace for all their love and support. It's a beautiful day to save lives. <laughs> Brenna A. Medeiros. With, with honors. Thank you to my friends and family, most of all to my mom. I couldn't have done this without you. Also, here comes the other part. Also, a huge thank to Martine for helping me survive this program and being the frack to my frick. Abby Quinn Morrison, with honors. Thank you to all of my family and friends for cheering me on and supporting me for the last 10 months. And a special thanks to my mom, Julie, for believing in me before I believed in myself and pushing me out the door on the first day. Congratulations, everyone. Dorian Serino Burke Peasley, with honors. <laughs> with honors. It is truly an honor to graduate from this program today. This incredible accomplishment did not come without personal commitment and sacrifice. I would like to thank my family, particularly my parents, Kevin and Maria, for their unconditional love and unwavering support. I am forever grateful to my instructors for their guidance. Congratulations to my classmates. May God bless us all as we move forward in our journey. I'm sorry? Right now? No. Okay. Aliyah Raymond, M. Raymond, excuse me, with honors. Thank you to my amazing partner, Jamal, and my beautiful daughter, Mila. Jamal, you sacrificed so much so I could walk across this stage today. I am so blessed to have my family, Jamal's family and friends, by my side to celebrate this accomplishment. Thank you all for the love and support. <laughs> Beliza C. Resende. I want to thank God for the doors he's opened for me, my incredible instructors that pushed me to my full potential, my family and friends who supported me throughout this journey, journey, especially my mom and dad who always gave me unconditional love and support. You both have taught me if I work hard and do the right thing, there's nothing in the world that I cannot do or have. Thank you for the life you both gave me. Felicia Resende. A 
against all odds. Being pinned by her cousin, Tiffany Neves, also a graduate of the program. Nancy Rose Scopa with <laughs> honors. With honors. <clears throat> this has been one of the most challenging yet rewarding 10 months balancing school, family, and work. Congrats to the entire class and to my friends who have become family. Thank you for the laughs and support. Thank you, Linda, Trista, and Kathy for watching my children. To my husband, my number one supporter, my best friend, for never losing hope in me as I made my dream come true. For always making me feel good enough, smart enough, and loved. I'm so thankful for you and our children. We did it, Stephen, and my guardian angel mom for showing me how to truly care for others. To the staff who guided us through tears, fears, and lots of emails. In the words of Mrs. Lyons, okay, my friends, we did it. <laughs> Sama Shahata, <laughs> with honors. It has been truly a wonderful year, and there is nothing in my heart but gratitude. First, to my teachers, you did more than prepare me academically. Thank you for all the lessons you've taught me. Second, to all my classmates and friends, I love you all, I will miss you, and I will remember you all. Finally, to my beloved wife, Eris, I would not have been here without you. I love you. Thank you all. Sarah E. Small. <laughs> this year has been a long and difficult journey, but we did it. I couldn't have done it without the support of my friends and family. Thank you for everything. Emily Ann Smith with honors. I would like to thank Amber Smith for answering my phone calls post exam of me crying hysterically and her telling me to pull it together. Also, I want to thank those who supported me throughout and lastly, Nancy Scoper for keeping me sane. Michelle Solis Bostic, with honors. She believed she could and she did, but not without the help of her family. Anthony, Kiana, Amanda, Maria, thank you for your unconditional love and support and encouragement. Thank you for making me study even when I didn't want to. Thank you to my baby Nola for being my study buddy. Mom, Dad, and my siblings, thank you for checking in on me and celebrating my small and big accomplishments. Last but not least, thank you to my work family for being so patient and supportive during my journey. I love you all. <laughs> Philip Tam Tisang. It is the result of your hard work and the values that you have instilled in me today that I have successfully complete, completed my graduation. And the credit goes um, to my hero, Mr. Ruben Tsang and Mrs. Elizabeth Tsang. You guys are the best parents ever. Thank you. <laughs> Kelly Ann Vernon with honors. Thank you to my mom, dad, Hope, Joy, Ivy, and Jake. The support from all of you made this challenging year worth it. Worth it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Pai Fio Wei. I would like to say thanks to my mom and dad who supported me with everything I needed since the first day of school. Because of them, I was able to focus on my studying and today I am able to walk across the stage. Also, I would like to say thanks to all of the teachers and clinical instructors for their hard work and sharing their knowledge with us throughout the program. <laughs> Renee R. Weller, with honors. With honors. I want to thank my husband, Orlando, son, Madex, and sister, Trishana, for their support throughout this past 10 months. I couldn't have done it without you. Next, we have class awards. These will be presented by Ms. Catherine Mohan, Ms. Diane Lyons, and Ms. Paula Haddad. Thank you. <laughs> Academy. <laughs> we still have that. Good evening. Um, this year we'd like to award the Valedictorian Award to Samir Shahada. As, as the graduate who has achieved the highest scholars, scholastic honors, excuse me. This year's Salutatorian Award goes to Dorian Peasley. <laughs> As the graduate who has achieved high scholastic honors. Congratulations. Congratulations, Dorian. Dorian. <laughs> We have a General Excellence Award that's presented to a student for best exemplifying those characteristics sought in the practical nurse, notably clinical excellence, scholarship, and a deep commitment to nursing. The recipient is Brenna A. Medeiros. Congratulations, Brenna. <laughs> this year, the faculty has chosen a faculty award that is hereby presented to a student dedicated for outstanding commitment, motivation, and a positive attitude in the role of the practical nurse in both the academic and clinical areas. This year recipient is Philip Tam Tassang. We would like to present an achievement award to a student recognized and honored for determination to succeed in her exceptional growth in the role of the student practical nurse, Rochelle LaRoche Satu. Congratulations. 
Congratulations, Michelle. Congratulations. We have a Spirit Award hereby presented to the student for always demonstrating a positive outlook through her kindness and camaraderie with her classmates, as well as her genuine devotion to the practical nursing program, Fedora DeGilles. Congratulations, Fedora. <laughs> Over the sign. Congratulations. We would like to award a Clinical Excellence Award to a student for best exemplifying those characteristics sought in the practical nurse, notably clinical excellence and a deep commitment to nursing, Nancy Rose Scopa. We have a vocational award presented to a student for demonstrating the qualities of honesty, respect, responsibility, and genuine commitment to nursing profession, Abby Quinn Morrison. Congratulations, Abby. This year, we'd like to award a Compassionate Care Award to a student recognizing an extraordinary healthcare professional who embodies the characteristics of compassionate care and whose professional achievements have helped to create healing healthcare environments for patients and their families. Therese Jane Harrison. Oh, she's already crying. Congratulations to all the graduates. At this, at this time, I would like to ask the class representatives, Christina Alicio and Derry Kennedy, to come to the podium. Christina and Derry were elected by the class in October and have done a wonderful job as class representatives. everyone. My name is Derry and I'll be your student nurse today. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Christina and I'll be your student nurse today. Actually, we will be your nurses as of today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't breathe. I can do this. Guys, I can't breathe. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm hot. <laughs> She'll be fine. <laughs> I got it. This is harder than nursing school. Let me just tell you guys. Mm -hmm. It's harder. Um, we would like to welcome everyone to the 
2022 graduating class ceremony. We would like to say congratulations to the supporting families, friends who are here to cheer us on, and to the teachers who can finally get rid of us. So they think. <laughs> Thank you to our fellow classmates for electing us to represent our class throughout the year and on this special day. For some of you, this is the first time you are seeing us due to the nursing journey your loved one has endeavored. Can we just say again that it was harder to prepare for this moment and pull the speech together than it was to navigate through nursing school? I think, <laughs> listen. You don't know. <laughs> I think our class would agree that it has been a challenging yet successful year. For those of you who don't know what nursing school is like, let me tell you. It's like, it's similar to drowning. <laughs> but you never fully flatline. You go from exciting, excitement, heading to the beach, having a great day, stepping into the water, getting your feet wet. Feels great here. <sighs> Guys, until a storm rolls in. And the assignments start. <laughs> you are struggling to get out of the water, but the weight of your fundamentals and med surge books are enough to bring you under. We equate that to the studying mode. Here you are constantly gasping for air. We consider that waiting for the exam results. <laughs> but good news, the current slows and you're able to head back to the beach. You pass the exams. Low tide hits, and you think, you got this. It's not too bad. I am glad I came to the beach today. And then you're pulled back in. Welcome to Med Search 2. <laughs> Getting stuck in this consistent emotional draining loop is to say the least of how hard nursing school is. With that being said, we truly value our administrative staff, family, friends, that have supported us through all of this journey. Without you, we wouldn't have made it to shore. To our administrative staff, we would like to salute you for guiding us to this point, dealing with our after hour emails, thank you, <laughs> and random tantrums in and out of the class. Without your patience and support, we would not be this successful today. And to our fellow classmates, we are proud to say that despite starting from the bottom and dealing with the waves and the ever-changing current and also surviving the constant COVID-19 regulation changes, we never gave up and now we are here. We started from the bottom, now we're up. Yeah. <laughs> we challenge you to move forward and never forget why you chose nursing. Always live by evidence-based practices and never forget your pen and scissors. Please don't forget the seven medication rights and two identifiers. <laughs> there are probably, <laughs> are you guys listening to them out right now? <laughs> there probably have been times you've doubted yourselves. Some folks may be even doubting themselves right now. We urge you to use the tools and knowledge we've gained. We've urged you to use the, <laughs> the tools and knowledge that we've gained throughout the year and let's show the next chapter we are boss. We challenge you to never stop believing in yourselves and conquer everything you set forth. Now, let's cheers to adding bling to our three inch badge we're gonna get. <laughs> Being able to wear fashionable scrubs and Crocs on the regular. <laughs> but most importantly, adding licensed practical nurse to the end of our last names. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Christina and Derry. I would like the graduates to now stand and face the audience. I
I am pleased to present the Practical Nursing Class of 2022. <laughs> We practiced that for quite a while. <laughs> we still need more practice. <laughs> Please enjoy the musical selection. To the new graduates, I ask you now to commit yourselves to your new profession with the traditional lighting ceremony and by reciting the nursing pledge.
I would like to invite all nurses in the audience to please stand and join us in the pledge. It's on the program. All right, you guys are ready? A lot of nurses. All right. In the full knowledge. Hold it still. Sick. I can't, it's moving. I can't read it. Race, creed, color, politics, or social status, sparing no effort to conserve life, to alleviate suffering, and promote health. I will respect at all times the dignity and religious beliefs of the patients under my care, holding in confidence all personal information entrusted to me and refraining from any action which might endanger life or health. I will endeavor to keep my professional knowledge and skill at the highest level and to give loyal support and cooperation to all members of the health team. I will do my utmost to honor the international code of ethics applied to my profession. I would ask the <laughs> I would ask the audience to please remain seated and keep the center aisle open until the graduates have completed their recessional. They will be back in, so don't bo worry about that. <laughs> I ran to get the microphone, and I'm like, oh, I can't get through the crowd of candles, so I just waited. <laughs> 